Serato Scratch Live 2.2 introduces support for the Vestax VFX1, TTM57 is our control for DJ effects, alongside some important bug fixes and Windows driver updates. In this video, we'll run through some of these new improvements. You are now able to use the Vestax VFX1 as a native effects controller for Scratch Live. Simply connect the VFX1 to a spare USB port on your computer and it should automatically connect with Scratch Live. The Vestax VFX1 contains controls for both the left and right hand effects units. Pressing the deck AV buttons will assign the DJ effects unit to the left to right primary decks. The beats knob will select the effects BPM multiplier. In Ultra Knob mode, you are able to choose your effect using the Select knob. Turn the effect on and off with the On Off button. And adjust the Ultra Knob depth using the Depth knob on the VFX1. When using Super Knob mode, the VFX1 controls will apply to the first DJ effects slot in each DJ effects unit. The latch control on the side of the VFX1 switches the on-off button from momentary to toggle mode. You can use the TTM57 SL to control the Scratch Live DJ effects. If you are not using Video SL, Group 5 on your TTM57 SL will be set up to control these. You can assign the following controls from the hardware panel in Scratch Live. Beats, Select Effect, Super Knob 1, 2 and 3, Ultra Knob and Effect On Off. You can select the left or right hand DJ effects unit from a pop-up menu when assigning these functions to the TGM57 SL controls. Other improvements we've made in Scratch Live 2.2 include Improved file support for Serato Video SL users Updated drivers for the RAIN SL1, TTM57 SL and MP4 Tighter integration with official third-party controllers Improvements to library handling And optimization of the bridge and mixtape That sums up the new features in Scratch Live 2.2 Available now as a free update for all Scratch Live users on serato.com.